Okay, so uh, I think we have a little bit more of the of this area to explore to make sure we've seen everything. I've sort of forgotten where I was. We had seen, we had just finished with Agatha's uh, cottage, which is past that door, and I think we were heading in this direction. Yeah, there's the, uh, it helps that there's uh, reagents to pick up, and there's the next gate. You can at least go check it out. So let's see what's over here. The ever-flowing glade. So let me look at the map here. We're getting we're getting up into areas where we haven't been before. Okay. Uh, and let's see what's that direction. Journal page. Wanda's journal. Uh, I've made a terrible mistake. My powers are growing stronger, and I'm losing control. But that isn't the worst of it. I went to the reflecting pool today to try to search for guidance, but Kathan. He heard me. I felt, I felt a strange connection to him. I broke away as fast as I could, but it was like his powers channeled through me. The ground grew cold and blackened beneath my feet. I thought that I could use what I've channeled from Hippus to push it back, but I'm so, so tired. That's not good. Uh, let's see, over here we've got another journal page and a haven. Foggy passage. We've got a lot of these havens discovered. I think it might be time to uh, use one soon. Um, let me look at this journal page. A hunter's journal, 1711. Uh, it almost feels as if Sarah and Agatha are running short of challenges to throw in my direction. I truly changed so much that my power can no longer be satiated by these two spellcasters. No longer do I fear the darkness within me or the light. I've conquered them both and embraced the many facets of my being. Darkness and light, blood and human. Okay. Uh, so there was something else. Let's see. Yes, nightshade. Okay. And then if we head over in this direction, wait, what was that? Reagent. I think this is the next blood gate, the reflecting pool mystery. Interesting. Look at this area. It's all like, there's like a giant hole in the ground here. Okay, so we got two ways to go. Um, all right, so this way is blocked by the vines, so we can't get through there. And then what's over here? Autumn, show me the way. Oh, arcane arcana level up. Common chests no longer require an arcane key. Oh, that's interesting. I can just open. Okay. We've got a door here. The Elder Hippus Shrine. Now, Wanda just mentioned the Hippus of order approves. in that journal entry that we read of hers, so she gained power from Hippus somehow. Um, there's a legendary chest over there, and there's an epic chest right here, but it's behind these vines again, so we can't interact with it. Uh, there's a key, okay. And I think this is the next floodgate, so we're probably under-leveled for this. Let's just check it out. I need to find the next moon seal. Okay. So, uh, I think we're, I think that's it for this area. We can't get over there right now. There's another passage that leads to it, but presumably it's either behind a vine or some other, one of the broken doors or something. So we can't go in there yet. That's fine. Let's head back this way. Continue exploring the grounds here. Pick you up. Pick you guys up. And then over here, we've got another stone. Autumn be praised. Okay. Another key. We're getting lots of arcane keys. And then if we head this way, we see some mushrooms. Dryad Saddle, we hadn't seen that before. Um, here's another cracked wall. There's, I can see an epic chest beyond it, but we can't get through there. Uh, let's see, what is this? Have we already, no, we haven't, okay. Another tarot card, the Emperor. T'Challa stands guard before the different regions he battled for the title of Black Panther. 
This card represents ambition and leadership and a protection over one's home. Encyclopedia Decoctia, major skill essence and vial of shadows. Okay. Lots of collectibles, lots of little nooks and crannies on the map here. And here we go. I think we can press F to pay respects here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Second one. If I remember correctly, this is the grave of Will Walker, a notoriously vicious but effective vampire hunter. <laughs> Blade would have liked him. Okay. And then it just ends. It just ends here. The blank wall. Okay. I think that's then everything in this area. We'll double back just to be sure. Um, who's this over here? Another wall we can't get through. We're back to the ever-flowing glade. This leads up to Agatha's cottage, I think. Yeah, that's up there. If we go this way, kind of like sneak around here a little bit, but not really. Uh, what is this? I think we're back to places we've been. Yeah, now what is what is highlighted on the map there? Uh, talk to Strange. Oh, it's sending me back home. Okay. So yeah, I think we're now, we've now explored everything there that there is to explain. Um, so we could go open a couple of these uh, free arcane chests since we don't need a key for them anymore. And uh, then they regenerate over time. So let's see. If I toggle the waypoint, it's over that way. We go like this and curve around, and then we can open it. There it is. Okay. Some gloss and cosmetics. Okay, now there's other ones we haven't opened on the map. Uh, there's this one and this one. Uh, I'm not sure how I would get there, but basically I'd go forward from here. See if I can find it. Hmm, I don't think so. This is going to curve us around that way. I'm not sure how to get to that one. It's kind of far away. Uh, maybe if I come here. Yeah, it's in the middle of this area. We've obviously visited it, or it wouldn't be on the map, but I don't know that I want to spend too much time going after it. Uh, let's go to this one instead. That one should be right on a path here. We just go forward. Yeah, right there. We can open that. Credits, very nice. Weapons frame, rare hunter's quarter schematic. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, this one is near the house. This one's at Agatha's altar. Have we opened that one? You know what else? Let's check on this this bowl because we did we tried to use it before and it didn't work. It didn't seem to do anything. Was this bowl always here? Let's pick this up. And let's place an item. Maybe now that we have two words unlocked, we can pick a pick a word or, or God's name. I guess we'll put the book. Oh, this looks like it belongs here. And then maybe I just say a name, maybe a word of power here. It seems my offering was accepted. Oh, okay. So once a night, we can make an offering to one of the gods with a word of power. Okay. So we can't do anything, I think, tonight. It's already been used up, but that's good to know. Um, and then let's set a waypoint and go grab this chest. Okay, it's this one. More credits. Okay, there's some good stuff in these chests. Uh, the last one is over by Hunter's Folly. 
And then there's two in the Abbey. Oh, you know what else? There is a, uh, there's a stone here. I remember now. There's a stone back here, right? That we can open with the word? Yeah, here we go. Let's see what this does. A key, I guess? I yeah, another arcane key. Okay. We're starting to like stock up on these. How many do we have? Like six or seven now? Um, that's still open from the last time we interacted with it. All right, let's go grab this one. Okay. Gloss, armor stand, face sigil. Okay, lots of cool stuff. There's a masterpiece, masterpiece we missed somewhere along the way. And now two of these are lit up. Um, and if we head back into the abbey, there's a couple of chests in here as well. Let's see. Um, right there. So in the past our quarters and then in the common room, we've got a couple. Uh, here's one. Oh, we got a we got an item. Draw two cards for free. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then the other one is where behind us. Yeah, in the common room. Okay. So then we'll go talk to Strange about that um, about that ward. Gain one redraw for free. Another battle item. Okay. Now, I'm concerned about that ward because from what we saw in one of Caretaker's journals, Lilith entombed Hiram Shaw behind that ward. And there was a little bit of a question. I mean, he was alive when he went in. I'm worried about what we might be letting out if we open that ward. I'm, I'm very concerned about it. Um, but for now, we will talk to Strange and see what he has to say about it. Ah, Hunter, I was just admiring the collection. Someone spent a great deal of time piecing this library together. I hope you don't mind me uh, having a look around. Of course not, Doctor. The library is an asset to us all. I see I'm not the only one who's taken an interest in these works. You haven't been getting into anything precarious, I hope. We... I have found something on the Abbey grounds that I think you should see. Oh, sounds mysterious. By all means, lead the way. And we're back. Okay. I typically avoid venturing this far from the Abbey, especially at night. Uh, what do I, how do I get down there? I have to take him through the church, right? Uh... I'm concerned about your personal well-being, Dr. Sense. How do I get down there? Well, you know, it did have us facing this way, so probably we go this way and then down and around. Yeah, here we go. Curve down and around. Go through. And then we come over here. Okay, he caught up. <laughs> you were right to bring this to my attention, Hunter. I thought it resembled one of your wards of protection. There's a reason for that. It's the same magic Wanda invoked in her attempts to protect the Sanctum. But what is it that you're chasing out here? These wards aren't something to toy with. I will not know for sure until I get past this. Is there any way to dispel it? Unfortunately, no. What good would the wards of protection be if they were so easily broken? But I have been wrong before, at least recently. Do you have any suspicions as to who may have conjured this here? Yeah, we're pretty sure Wanda did it. Wanda spent a great deal of time out here, and she had the power. She does have some experience with these spells. But why would she do that? The only way I will know for sure is to find a way through to the other side. I'll think on it and see if I can come up with some way to assist you, Hunter. For now, though, you'll have to be patient. Okay. 
Well, we've got Doctor Strange on the job. Uh, let's see. What is it? What is it complaining about? Oh, that's right. We had a couple Superlink posts show up that we didn't uh, didn't read. Uh, so this one from Doctor Strange. Sixteen hours. This post is restricted to the Midnight Suns. I must ask a favor of you. Tony is in a bad state of mind after what happened at Avengers Tower. It's no secret that he has struggled with depression. If you see signs of its recurrence, please inform me at once. And Ileana says, it's not our place. We cannot tell him how to live his life. Steven, I don't ask you to tell him anything. I ask that you tell me. Tony's a dear friend, but he hides his feelings from me to spare me concern. He's far less likely to do so with you. Okay. Then Robbie Reyes. Hey, Peter, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you too, man. Uh, this is a public post. Yeah, do we all need to be here for this? Yeah, that's the point. Peter's awesome. Everyone should know that. Note it. Just note that Robbie's cool too. <laughs> Ileana, agree to disagree. <laughs> uh, and then Steve Rogers, thanks for hosting me at the Abbey. Let me know how best to pitch, it, pitch in. Nico says, you're the first Avenger to be that considerate. Tony says, he's the first Avenger. You still annoyed I tossed out your kale chips? And Nico says, you replaced them with cheesy crunchums. Uh, Steve, I don't want to get in the middle of a snack-based dispute. Is is there an orientation of some kind? Uh, Tony Stark says, Spider-Man's the newest arrival. He can give you the tour. Me? You want me to show Captain America around? That would be an honor. Harold Danvers, wait for it. Spider-Man, my uncle collected newspapers about your exploits in the war. And Carol, and there it is. Never gets old. Steve Rogers says, and neither do I. Thanks for the offer, Spider-Man. Okay. And we also got a private message from Nico. Oh, we already, we already did this. Uh, Magic's birthday party's tonight. We already did this, so I don't know if I should hit this or not. Maybe I should? I don't think it triggers anything, right? Okay. Uh, let's check out our inventory. We've picked up a lot of things. Um, so we've got some new abilities here. Web Pro, this epic uh, hero card. Um, maybe we should be like, well, uh, when we go on the next mission, we'll we'll make sure we edit everybody's deck. Uh, we've got a lot of resources right now. What are we low on, actually? We've got tons of gloss. We've got a compliment. We're low on intel, so that's important. We've got credits, heroic, skill, and attack essence. We've got blueprints. Uh, we've got plenty of reagents, so maybe we should try and craft something. We've got master masterworks, collecting tons of journals, no gifts, and a bunch of Crazy ass quest items. I don't know what these are all for. And then I don't know what we'd want to take on a mission. Um, I should start using these, I guess, especially the common ones. Like we can save these for maybe story missions or hard missions, but the common ones, I think we should just use them. Uh, so gain a free redraw or draw two cards. Those are both good. I too vulnerable to So I should be looking at this stuff before I launch missions for sure. Um, then what's new in Heroes? Something was new. I don't know what it is. Okay. Let's go back to our room and go to sleep. Wait a minute. Agatha wants to talk. Let's see what she has to say real quick. Probably because we just talked to Doctor Strange, so she's going to maybe warn us to be careful. I don't know. Let's see. Feeling well today, dear? Oh, she's just got a ton of stuff we can ask about. Uh, you know what? This this can wait for another time. We'll we'll talk to her another time about some of this stuff. I am curious about the Knights of Wondegore and the Bowl, uh, but it's late. We've had a long day. Let's get some sleep and uh, get up in the morning for some training, some research, and a mission. Oh, what is this? That's Wanda Maximoff. That's the Scarlet Witch. Is this a dream? There's like a weird hyperluminescence uh, along everything, and the moon is super bright. So I don't know what this is, but let's go talk to her. Oh, shit.
So maybe she tried somehow to reach out to us in our sleep from wherever she is? Sorry, dear. Hope I didn't startle you. Agatha just showed up out of nowhere. So Hunter. let's talk to her. Hello. Hunter, you saw her, didn't you? Wanda. What does she want? What we all want. To be found. Okay. Uh, Wanda's disappearance is the source of a huge amount of tension and conflict on the team. Bruce Banner's turn is obviously another one. But this might be something that we can do something about. Plus, she has a lot of information about some of the mysteries on the grounds. So I think I think Nico would definitely be worried about um, worried about it being a trap. But she definitely wants to find her. And Sarah has been... Sarah's been kind of a source of some of the tension in that she's not super motivated to go find her, partly because she killed Agatha by accident. Uh... Maybe, we, I don't know if she would say this right now because I don't know that this would be her primary concern in the moment. Like she might want to know the answer for this, but in response to, in response to Wanda appearing in her dreams, her primary concern would either be, this could be a trap or how do I help find her? I don't, I don't know that she would be super worried about this. I think she would be aware that this is a possibility and ready to deal with it if it happens. I don't think she needs reassurance from Agatha about that. I think her most uh, pressing concern is gonna be, all right, how do I do it? But how do I find her? Well, not alone, dear. You and the Midnight Suns are going to have to work together. I know you didn't know Wanda, but I did. She's family, Hunter. We cannot leave her behind. Besides, we can't win this battle against your mother without her. So find her, Hunter. Bring her back. For all our sakes. Okay. What are you doing here, Hunter? You need to find the Midnight Suns and save Wanda. Sounds like a story mission and to me. You need to do it now. Okay. Uh, let me look at this superlink message from Nico. We've got from a couple people here. Uh, so Robbie's inviting me to shop class. Nico's checking in, wants to talk. Uh, let's deal with that later. We've got Wanda. Um, maybe there's a there's some way we can find her. Let's go find the sons and tell them that she showed up, that she reached out, that there's a possibility of rescuing her and maybe we can do something about it. Uh, we will, of course, pet Charlie first. Good girl, Charlie. Um, are they down in the forge? Does it look like it? Are they in the war room? Oh, here we, here we go. forces have taken the Sanctum, Tower, and most of the best retail outlets in Manhattan. They keep making moves. About time we did the same. Our intel points to Lilith being in the Sanctum. That's where we need to strike. Been there, done that. Wasn't our finest hour. That symbiote shell has withstood everything we've thrown at it. Lilith chose Venom for good reason. Don't forget about Bruce. Never. Look, the Avengers were formed for good reason. And I'm assuming the Suns were too. I haven't seen a threat yet this group can't overcome. So we can put our heads together, find a way to do the impossible. Or we could just wait for Hydra to come knocking on our doors. I don't know about you, but I don't like playing defense. So I say to hell with Lilith and her pet symbiote monster. Let's take the Sanctum back. Ah, I've missed these little talks. Yeah, okay. I'm slightly convinced. Guess it couldn't hurt to talk with Professor Von Spooky, see if we can't come up with something together. Now that is the definition of impossible. Let us know if you come up with any ideas. In the meantime, I for one would enjoy getting a little payback on Hydra. I feel like the Suns would be glad to hear that. The Avengers are talking about getting the Sanctum back, which should lead to Wanda. Um, 
can I do any research or is it blocking me until I do the objective? Yeah, I'm blocked, okay. Sometimes it's not and sometimes it is. Uh, let me go find the Midnight Suns. Maybe they're out at the training yard or maybe they're lounging around the pool or something. There's Peter. Where are Nico and Magic and Blade and Robbie? Maybe Peter knows? Have you seen any of the Midnight Suns? I need to speak to them. I think I overheard Blade talking about how he was going to the chapel, which is weird. I didn't think vampires could go into churches or chapels or whatever. See what I know about the supernatural. Hope he doesn't think Carol is going to meet him there. Thanks, Peter. No problemo. Hope you find them. Okay, so they're at the chapel. Uh, I do, while we're there, I mean, I know we're doing the story beat of, like, talking to them about Wanda, but I do want to check out those symbols. So, the ones that we found, I think it was in Agatha's cottage, were uh, some very mean monkey's bite, I think, which was, like, uh, I forget the S, then Vitruvian Man, uh, Moon Mountain Boat. I want to see if they're in the same order here in the chapel. What kind of mirror is this again? Because it's... It is a spell of sorts. That is what Agatha used to say anyway. What sort? The dark sort? A discernment spell. Well, more of a tracking ritual, like a seance. And no, it's not dark. I got it right from the source. I'll put it back before Caretaker even knows it's missing. Hey man, we gotta try something. I mean, it has to be a sign, right? right? That all four of us had the same dream of Wanda? Make that five. You and Ouija away, or whatever. Lock the door. Okay. Taking matters into our own hands. Once we start, we don't stop. Keep your mind focused on Wanda. Ego, spiritus, add. Got it. What did I just say? Do not break the connection. Okay, uh, sorry. Right. <sighs> this is how Atlantis sank. Ego, Spiritus, Ad, May. 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 Whoa, anyone else see that? She said not to break the connection. Well, you just did? Ego spiritus at bay. Ego spiritus at bay. Ego spiritus at bay. Was that our fault? I think so. Disconnect! Pull the plug or something! It's too late. Ego spiritus at bay. Ego spiritus. Succinctly put, Robbie. By the way, notice the ladies are the ones who were like, who were able to maintain focus, and it was the two dudes who broke the connection. Disappointing men. Couldn't trust those two to chant their own names. I am going to open a rift to the negative zone in their showers when we get home. If we get home, there's no telling where that screwed up spell sent us. This could be a broom closet in the basement of Doctor Doom's castle, for all we know. Or a storage nook on Galactus's world ship. Holding pen on a scroll cruiser. Oh, maybe the inside of Robbie's brain. There. Something powerful. 
Something strong. Something foul. That's where we begin. Ugh. Of course you were gonna say that. Hunter. And friends? Really? You still follow me on Super Lake? Not ringing a bell. I can tear through the fabric of space and time itself. Eh, it doesn't matter. Let the fool prattle on. We must be on to something. I cannot fathom how you found this facility. But I will, soon enough. Your names may escape me. But you most assuredly will not. Oh, we will see about that. All right. High Dragoons to fight. Maybe the Hulk? We'll find out. Let's do this. This facility appears in no records, on no maps, not even in the minds of these loyal soldiers. So the question remains, how are you here? Just a little of the old abracadabra. No big deal for a squad of ultra-powerful... and well-known... heroes like us. All right, so um, I wonder if slamming them into this like glowing green wall will do anything interesting. Uh, we've got a stun there. We've got a couple environmental pieces, so stuns all around. Uh, this is gonna do 60 damage for one heroes, and that's a pretty good deal. We can make it happen. Um, okay, let's get started. Now, what item did I bring? A healing salve. All right, so I've got a free heal if I need it. Uh, so. Got a minion. Uh, we've got two minions on the board. We should probably take them out first and then focus on these guys. Uh, the minions are both targeting magic. So let's see what we can do here. Um, quick cards, we've got Quick Slash, which has knockback. Uh, so that's the only quick card we have right now. So let's see, what do we want to do here? That will impact him. Um, Let's see, I also want to move her so she can do something useful with the shove that she has. I think we want to shove this guy into them and then blow this up and maybe get all four of them. So let's start by slashing this guy. Um, that's gonna kill him. Is there a way we can get two for one with this quick slash? No, I don't think so. Uh, not unless we move first. So, okay, let's let's just use this on him. He gets KO'd. Get the card back. Now she's got uh, she's got a stun attack here. That's nice. We can stun somebody. Uh, forceful knockback, 85 damage, holy flame. So we got a lot of hunter cards right now. Um, replace an enemy. This is banish and drop. That could be good. Uh, let's see what the hunter can do with a move. So if we come over here and push you, what can we push you into? Not a lot, unfortunately. We'd have to move more first. I'd like to push him in this direction, like into those guys somehow. Um, how much health has he got? 131. Damage an enemy or restore. We've got three card plays. Forceful knockback. So if I come over there, yeah, there's no good way to move her to this side, I don't think. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. Um, we don't have a magic card to shove him with. 
So I don't think we're going to be able to do it. So what should we actually do here? So if we shove this guy into that, it should blow up and hit those three without spending an energy. Uh, forceful knockback. This is probably the one we want. Let's see, yeah, if we slam him into this. Now, does she end up in the area effect of the blast? No. That should get, yeah, that'll hit those two guys. Okay, nice. Your is insane. Very cool. As they right. say, it gets the job done. So he's now almost done. Uh, let's see, we've got two card plays left. We probably want to stun somebody. Who have we got? We've got, you, you're the mark, you're, you do the marking thing and then the huge damage. So stunning you would be good. Although we might be able to do that by, here's magic. If you shove this guy, can we shove you into, no, we can't. Okay, so that doesn't work. Um, we can stun that guy, maybe, by shoving him into this. Yeah, okay, so we get a stun there. Okay, he's stunned. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? She can stun someone with this, so I think we'll stun... Oh, the guy with... Uh, this guy has Frenzy, right? Is that what's showing? No, he's got Shock Shield, okay. So we'll stun this guy. For it. Okay, he doesn't get to do anything. That will do. And then, uh, we could, let's see, we've got three heroism. Can't reach this guy with anything at the moment. So probably our best bet is to take him out, or if we had... Damage an enemy. We do have redraws. I could redraw this and get maybe a quick attack. Let's try it. Let's see what we get. Create a portal for free. But she doesn't have a shove at the moment. Um, I think we'll hold on to that. Let's see. Uh, we don't have enough card plays. If we could shove him into somebody, that would be good. But we can't. So this does 85 damage. That's not enough to take out these guys. It is enough to take out him, but then she gains vulnerable. I think I'm going to hang on to this card. He's stunned. He's stunned. Uh, oh, she could kill him next turn with Wild Strike. I think I'm going to redraw this and see if I can get something else. No. Heal. I could overheal and draw two cards, but that's not super helpful. Uh, is anyone targeting her? Not at the moment, so the vulnerable's kind of okay. It's kind of a waste to use this on him, though. I wish there was some other, some other play. Uh, Limbo, Portal, Heal. Only got one card play. So she either uses this on him or takes damage from him and saves it for somebody else. I think this is better used on this guy. Gets rid of his Shock Shield, does a bunch of damage to him. And nobody's targeting her, so the vulnerable shouldn't matter. Plus, it puts her in a better position for next turn. So yeah, I think we're gonna do this. There was a time when Lilith had the highest standards for her minions. That time has clearly. Oh, we resisted the shield. Neat. Okay. Uh, I think we use some heroism to. No, he's stunned. Oh, this guy's still alive. All right, Magic, you need to blow that guy up. Yeah. More. I missed him. And then we could use this on him, but that would ruin his stun. So I think we hold here until next turn. Hail Hydra. Your mother. I'm pissing me off.
Oh, resisted. Very nice. He got frenzied. Okay. He got unstunned. And he got unstunned. All right. So let's see what we do. This is the last group I would expect. I suppose there was a high probability that the hunter would be drawn to this location. But you two? What were your names again? Nancy and Margaret? Okay, now he's just messing with us. All right, he's got frenzy, so we want to deal with him. Uh, let's see, forceful knockback. We've got a number of, we got two limbo portals and two forceful knockbacks. That's good. The heal card and the witchfire card. So what can we do with, with the portal? Um, let's see. So these two are both in here, which means if we shove someone with forceful knockback into this, it'll blow up, hit them, and whoever we pick. So let's place a limbo portal um, to slam into this thing, like that. Now is and then we'll use her free move uh, to push one of these guys through. I think we'll move, yeah, we'll, we'll shove this guy. Yeah, right through there. There we go. Okay, that was cool. That worked well. Can we do that again? This one is only hitting that one guy. But it might be worth doing. Um, he's going to go in two cards. Let's see. Uh, Witch Fire is going to do 56. Is anybody? Is there anybody we can get below 56? Uh, probably not. She's got Soul Blasts, Forceful Knockback. Okay, let's do that again. And this time, we'll point it at this one. So it'll at least hit that other guy. And then we'll do a Forceful Knockback with you. Yeah, we'll do a Forceful Knockback, Soul Blast. Um, I think we take this guy out with this, right? Yeah. He takes 20, he gets overkilled. Do not cross me again. Mr. Frenzy gets to go. She got vulnerable. She resisted, okay. No, she resisted the damage, but she got the effect. Um, we've got two card plays left. So, forceful knockback. We can knock one of these guys into the stun over there, maybe? Or damage somebody, get somebody below. Let's see. If I knock you into Nico, you're going to take, you're going to go under 56. Or I could stun you. I think it's better to hit Nico and do damage here. And then Nico uses Witchfire, and we hope that one of these two gets KO'd. Watch close. Nice. Nice! That worked out really well. Luck of the draw, but very good. Okay. Um, that can't reach him. That can't reach anybody, so we're out of stuff to do. Uh, we can save the heal card. Who's Who are they attacking? He's the guy who buffs people. He's going to attack the hunter, or he's going to mark... Oh, no, he's going to attack the hunter, and it's going to hurt because she's got vulnerable. So I don't think he'll mark her when she's already got it. So maybe we do save this. All right, end turn. Uh, what's our contingency plan? You are next on the list. Oh, he's an idiot. Awesome. This one is especially scared. He frenzied himself. Maybe you'd like a closer okay. look at my sword. I'd be careful where you wave your staff or swords or whatever other enchanted LARPing weapons you brought into my facility. The <laughs> modifications I've made to the Gamma Accelerator have rendered it quite volatile. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. The mind probe is far less reliable when the brain is damaged. Tony Stark was right. You are moody. Okay, so we have a problem. We can't uh, target this guy unless we knock this guy into him somehow. And I don't see a way to do that right now. Empower. 
draws a heroic card, change the cost of all heroic cards in your hand to zero until the end of hand. That's that could be helpful if we had if we didn't have heroism, but we do have quite a bit of heroism. Um, now, it, what if we use this? Can we draw him in even though he's invisible? I think it's worth trying. Maybe this will reveal him. I am Oh, that's pretty cool. Where'd you learn that one? And now he's visible. Awesome. That worked. Okay. Uh, so we hero combo this guy who's marked the hunter, who's vulnerable right now, I think. Uh, hang on, let me think about this. Knockback and quick, that's not going to do enough damage to either of these. So yeah, we'll use the hero combo on him for sure. Nice. A good combo. Now that's a combo. Okay. And then now we're out of power. We have one card play left. Knock back and quick, or we fortify the hunter. Um you know what we could do? So he'll get a turn from this, but we could uh actually maybe not. So can the hunter if the hunter uses the shove and you can shove him towards the stun. I think we do this. Move him towards the stun over there. And then we see if, if magic can actually stun him with the card. Yeah, she can. Awesome. So his stun is then immediately removed because um, there's a frenzy. I don't know what he's going to do on his turn. Uh, and I guess Nico can huck this thing at him. That's spree. There we go. And then do we want to use any, uh, hard plays or redraws? No, I think we're good. Um, let's use our free item, though, to heal Nico. That's locked, but I guess we can unlock it. Yeah, let's heal Nico only the 33 and we've got a ton of other items so that's fine and then we'll end the turn here oh he doesn't get to do anything you sweet okay how much health has he got 51 it's hard to tell. are we underground or maybe we're in space that strengthened to an ally in New York you mean mm. you honestly don't know just tearing your way through whatever Hydra facility you miraculously stumble upon? More like smashing through. Wrecked. I think this is the time to play this card. Let me help you. So that should draw a hero card. And it draws Swarm with 56. Awesome, and it costs zero. Perfect. Goodbye. Very effective. Okay, good fight. So now does Banner Hulk out and come deal with us himself? Remember me now, Brucey? I'm starting to, little tonk. Which actually explains a great deal about how this visit came about. Far too amateurish an operation for Carol. Or even Tony. It's not the how I should be focusing on, but the why. You're not here for the Gamma Accelerator at all, are you? No. The truth is far more delightful. Of course it is. Well, by all means, then. Have at it. <laughs> What is that? At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if Thanos himself walked out of that thing. <gasps> Wanda! No. Oh, Wanda. We were too late. She belongs to Lilith now. Death is her only chance for release. What? Hell no! 
No, that's not how we work. Haven't you learned anything yet? Leave her alone, you monster! Oh, I assure you, Miss Maximoff is free to do as she pleases. She appears neither free nor pleased to me. Really? Wanda, is there something you'd like to say to your friends? Okay, here we go. Uh, defeat Fallen Scarlet Witch to complete the mission. Tip, attacks against Fallen Scarlet Witch may result in a hex, which causes cards for that hero to be discarded from the hand. Choose your attacking heroes wisely. Okay. Mother chose me above all of you. It's oh boy. It's starting to make sense. Tony must have known that I would need her energies to help stabilize the reaction. Perhaps he thought her connection to the two of you would somehow prevent the inevitable slaughter about to occur. Or perhaps you're simply his canaries in the coal mine. In either case, I may have underestimated him. Uh, you sure you're all right there, Brucey? Sounding a little unhinged. He's starting to rant like Faustus. Okay, tutorial ley lines. We got a new mechanic here. Ley lines are cracks in the ground where pent-up mystical energy may escape. Ley lines can be triggered at range like other environmental explosives. If the enemy's knocked into a ley line, they'll receive a negative status effect as well. Tip, once a ley line is triggered, it will lie dormant for a turn before reappearing. Okay. So that's... Okay, that's this. Ley line, stun any unit knocked into this ley line. Uh, apply one vulnerable. Apply one weak. And this one is vulnerable. All right, so we want to knock her into it, I guess. Um, we've got a couple of minions here. So we'll use our quick attack um, on, this, on these guys first. Now, do we want to move? Where do we want magic to move? Or do we want magic to move? Because somebody's going to move when they do this. Uh, we got a vault here. Um, strengthened, stun, strengthened, fortify, heal. We don't have a lot of attacking cards right now. Um, so we'd like to shove her into this to apply vulnerable, I suppose. Let's start with this card. Uh, I guess this doesn't really matter. So it begins. They cannot possibly match your strength. All right. Um, counter and block could be good for the hero, or for the hunter rather. Um, this could be good to call, to draw two cards because we don't have any attacking cards right now. But I feel like I should save it. Um, he's targeting magic. She can she can kill him with this. Uh, Wanda should have passives, right? Supervillain, bind and stun, only restrain for one action. Hex, 50% chance a random ability belonging to the attack will be discarded when attacked. So, problem is we don't have good cards at the moment. We've got two copies of this, so let's redraw one. See what we get. Swarm, 70 damage. All right, so can we strengthen ourselves and then attack her? Maybe... Yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. At least we'll get a good attack on her. She's got, what, 340? So probably for two card plays to do over 100 damage is worth. All right, so let's strengthen Nico. Here we go. Ah, feeling strong all of a sudden. Then we'll swarm her, and this curse card will be... Uh, gotten rid of, I think. So maybe we should use this on the minion first. We've got two card plays left, and these two are not super great right now, I don't think. I mean, the, the counter would be nice. But we don't know who she's going to attack. So let's get rid of the minion. This usually works. Good 
and then we swarm. Uh, then we swarm Wanda for 122. There's a 50% chance, but we don't have a card left, so it doesn't matter. Mother will never let me fall. Okay. Now, we've got an environmental. Uh, Nico can't move that way. Uh, neither can uh, Ileana. The hunter can't either. Um, but what Nico can do is shove her. So we shove her into this thing and stun her for one action. Oh, Il she took some damage too. Oh, she's vulnerable. That That's vulnerable, not stun. Oh, that's no good. I messed that up. Okay. Um, I think we end turn here and hope that the vulnerable lasts until the next turn. It may not. Mother guides my hand now. I'm built up this morning. You seem confused. Uh oh. Your time here is through. Ouch. A confused hero will act unpredictably every time the other heroes take an action. Okay. Probably not great. Faces. Genuine astonishment. Just like before with Tony and Steve at the tower. I wonder, have we heroes always been so trusting, so gullible? There is no we anymore, traitor. You forfeited that right when you became another of my mother's puppets. Yet here you all are, trying to save Wanda. I suppose I should add illogical to the list. Okay, not a lot of great cards here. I think we heal uh, Ileana to get the cure effect and stop her from doing random, random stuff. What is happening? Okay, so she gets cured. That took a card play, but I think it was worth it. Um, now. Blood magic. Uh, attack cards have lifesteal. We could apply that to her. That could be good. Um, but it is a card play. Ah, man. Not the greatest, not the greatest cards here. And we got two minions that we can't really do much about. Um, that's vulnerable. We don't have a good damage card to use with it. I could, I could knock her into this to stun her, I think. That would detonate and kill the two minions. All right, so let's use let's do that. You, let's use forceful knockback and knock her into this. That will detonate that. It looks like the minions die and Ileana's fine. And she gets stunned for a turn. Let's do that. I guess the gloves are off. She's stunned. Okay. Um, we've got one card play left. We can't use the vault from our current position. Uh, we could shove her with a move, maybe. That's dormant for a turn. What is that, weak? And that's the vulnerable again. So I think the hunter could move over here and then vault onto her. Um, remove diff damage, though. So we've got one card play left. This only works until end of turn. So I think we heal ourselves and overdraw, so we'll get the two cards for next turn. The light will carry you onward. I feel stronger on That's nice. Okay, so we got the two cards. Curse, this is good. We can mark, um, well, we don't need to mark, although how much has she got left? She's still got 103. Um, we don't need this card. And I don't think we'll need this card because anyone else that shows up is going to be a minion, although it is an attack card, which we don't have a lot of. Um, Vanish, Soul Blast. Those are both good. And this could change the heroic card, so this would be free, although we have plenty of heroism, so we might not need it. 
Um, I think I'll wait to, uh, I think I'll intern and wait to see what we get. I didn't ask for your help. They must be getting desperate. Oh, she slammed us into the ley line. I am the instrument of her wrath. Nasty. Okay. We have to stop letting Banner get to us. Remember why we're here. Wanda, snap out of it. We don't want to hurt you. You cannot hurt me. The mother will never let anyone hurt me ever again. More okay. of its lies. I have heard such words repeated far too many times. Um, all right, so we can... She's not anywhere that we can shove her. We can take out the minions with some free environmental attacks from the heroism. So this is free. We'll do this. And then we can uh, do the same thing. We can have Nico do this. Going for it. Okay, so in terms of damage cards, Nico's swarm is the best one. Um, this is not helpful. Not super great forceful knockback. Um, marked, not helpful. A lot of these cards are not great. So let's do some redraws here. Um, vulnerable would be a much better curse to have. What is this? Two counter, not super helpful. And we've got two soul blast cards. Let's get one, three draw one of those. Okay, so 38 and 66. I think we're going to empower and draw another hero card and see what we get. This one's for you. Okay, so we got two swarms, and that's probably all we need. I'll give it a whirl. We were friends. Oh no. Been hexed. Random ability chosen belonging to that hero will be discarded from the hand. Okay, we didn't lose Swarm. Awesome. So now we'll just finish her. How about this one? Well. Finish her for the first time. She probably gets back up again, right? Who's the tough one now? Yeah, she's downed. Okay. Uh nothing we can do but end the turn here. Oh good, more goons. Do not fear the mother's embrace. Let her warmth envelop you, comfort you, make you whole. Okay, so we've got in her eyes. Nothing of Wanda. Such peace. Such a harmony of energies flowing through one form. I always believed the Scarlet Witch was powerful, but through Lilith, Wanda Maximoff has become transcendent. Shut up, both of you. Whatever works for you. Okay, got another quick card. Quick card, so that's helpful. Can't, uh, yeah, I can't use this vault to do damage to her, so. Um. Let's just delete the minion. All right, now let's focus on Wanda. You were too weak for this fight. So, we we kind of can't we can't shove her anywhere because we can't get behind her. Uh, we could move first and then use this to slam her into. What does this one do? Stun. Uh, I'd rather slam her into either weak or vulnerable so can we move her around see if we had a if we had a uh i wish we had a uh yeah a, a magic card um if we had a portal card for magic that would be ideal because we could use this to slam her into the weak thingamajig so let's see banish is not useful let's redraw this see if we can get a portal card yes excellent all right so now we place this over here and aim it towards this thing. This 
And then we shove her through the portal. Good soul blast. All right. Uh, looks like the hunter might catch a little. Yeah, the hunter's going to catch a little bit of this. So before we do that, we'll have the hunter come throw this thing at her for one heroism. So she moves away. Good. Is she out of range now? I think so. Uh, yeah, she's out of range now. So now we do forceful knockback. Push her into the thing. The she gets vulnerable. Stop me. Okay. I won't forget this. She can't get hexed. Um, all right, so we'll use witch fire. Yeah, we'll use witch fire. There's only one uh, one person that can attack. She's vulnerable, so it should do what? 99. Going for it. Awesome. How could you do that to a friend? And Hex didn't proc, so we can both do some more damage and stun her with our last card play. Let's try this. Aw, you guys are so adorable thinking you can beat us. Okay. Looks good. Uh, let's end the turn here, unless... Actually, let's use our move now. Where are we going to want somebody? Um, that has a... I don't think that has enough range. Maybe it does. Let's move the hunter over here. Just in case she can do it next turn. Don't hesitate, friends. I won't. Okay. Lose yourself. In you should Yikes. Listen to her. She's confused. Okay. Um, I think it's time. Okay. Is she? She's not vulnerable anymore. I do think it's time to use this vault if we can get her. Oh, she's out of. She's just out of range. Um, we don't know what Nico's going to do, and I don't think we have a. Soul slash knockback quick. You know what? We can we can slam her into this though. We can do it again. The same thing we did last time. So let's do that. Uh, let's aim it at this thing. We don't know what Nico's gonna do though. And once again, the hunter's in the way. Oh, hang on. So if we move her, then the vault doesn't work. So I think we do the vault for free first. Um, yeah, I think we have to. So the hunter does the vault. Oh no, it doesn't, that's right, it doesn't work. She's not in the right place. All right, so instead, uh, let's see. We'll just use our move. Yeah, we'll just use our move and slam this guy into that guy and delete these two. Okay. Then we'll use magic to move her, to slam her into this to make her vulnerable. Uh, the hunter's still in the way, darn it. Man, that's annoying. Well, we have to do it anyway. Ouch. All right, uh, then the hunter... You slam her into that, make her vulnerable. Protect me. Oh, it looks like she was just on the edge of it. I don't think she took any damage. That won't stop me. Nico's still confused. That's not great. Oof. She used the vault. Damn her. Uh, all right, so now we use Wild Strike while she's vulnerable. This should do an enormous amount. Of yeah, that's going to KO her. Excellent. Well the servants of Lilith. Lilith will not look kindly on this one. And we defeated her. Hopefully, we shock her to her senses and she wakes well, this up. This encounter has certainly smashed my expectations. <laughs> 
come now, Bruce. Can't let yourself get too carried away. We were planning on taking them alive. Then again, Wanda, eliminate them. This is over. We must leave, now! Wanda, stop! It's me. It is not her, Nico. She cannot hear you anymore. Okay, that was a pretty good good fight, if I do say so myself. I really like Ileana. Uh, her ability to move people around the uh, battlefield is super cool. Uh, we've unlocked a new difficulty, but I'm going to leave it on Heroic 1. I don't think, uh, even though I'm, I'm having a good time with the, with, the, with the combat, some of the fights are very challenging, and uh, I don't think I need to uh, up it at the moment. If things get, like, too easy, maybe I'll push it up to Heroic 2, but... Uh, for now, I think I'm fine with the things uh, the way they are. It's not like I'm hurting for gloss either. Uh, but okay. At least we know she's alive. And maybe there's hope. Maybe there's a way to free her from corruption. Uh, we're not sure. Also, I'm curious. There's one thing I, that this, the cutscenes here made me think about. I wonder. So Bruce Banner is fallen, right? Bruce Banner has been corrupted by Lilith. But has the Hulk. I think everyone is assuming that because Bruce has been corrupted, that means the Hulk is too. But I wonder if that's true. I guess we'll find out at some point. Ah! Did you see that? I know you did. Did I see her almost destroy all three of us? Then yes. She hesitated and then blew up the ground where you were standing. Still, Juan is in there, somewhere. I know it. No, she is here. Impossible. Close it, now! What do you think I am trying to do? No escape. No more. You were saying, Wanda. You. Your fault. You will be no more. Enough! I am not Agatha. Don't say a word, Nico. What would be the point? Okay, more momentous events. Uh, wow, that was that was a pretty great series of events. I'm really digging the game. I, I like the story. I like the combat. Um, it's got a few things that irritate me, but every game, no, no, there's no such thing as a perfect game. Anyway, that's a great place to, to take a break. Uh, so when we come back, we'll follow up with uh, Nico and Magic about all the things that just happened and then see what uh, the next day holds for us. So thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next, the next one. Take care.